an O2 series single row deep groove ball bearing with a 65 millimeter bore is loaded with a 3 kN axial load and a 7 kN radial load. If the outer ring is rotating at 500 revolutions per minute, what is the equivalent radial load? This is the first example for the bearings combined loading main video. Link below. For this type of ball bearing and a 65mm bore, we have a basic static load rating C0 of 34 kN. We need this axial force to C0 ratio to find the location of abscissa E. For an FA over C0 ratio of 0.088, abscissa E would be only slightly higher than 0.28. If the value of the axial load over V times the radial load is higher than E, we know we'll use the capital X and capital Y coefficients to calculate the equivalent radial force. With V equal to 1.2, since the outer ring is the one rotating, FA over VFR is equal to 0.357. Since this value is considerably higher than the abscissa E, we know our operation condition lies on the slanted line. For an FA over C0 value of 0.088, which is 4 26 of the way from 0.084 and 0.11, we can interpolate for the value of capital Y. With capital X being 0.56, the capital Y value we just found, and the given values for the forces, we find that the equivalent force is 9.29 kN. For more examples on the combined loading of bearings, make sure to check out the links in the description below. Thanks for watching.